what's up? It's Douglas Oriens, aka Sorry, and you're rocking with Papa Pilo. Today we're talking about my song called 28 Ice 56, produced by Icy Glock, who's a friend of mine from Russia. He's 15 years old, a great producer. Um, this was our first collaboration of many. We have a project coming up and a lot more. Uh, 28 Ice 56 was a track I recorded in 2018, December, I think. Released it in February 2019. And uh, basically it's a special song because it has two it has two sets of numbers that correlate. The first is 28, which is my block where I live in Matuala, and 56, which is uh, a number I'm also kind of related to. If you've heard my song 56 Roses, I mentioned the number 56 a lot. And when I met Icy Glug, he's also, he also uses the number 56, so it was like a special, a very special connection. And uh, 28 Ice 56 is like a melodic song, a very chilled song, R&B, experimental, a fusion of trap and R&B and just different vibes, you know. And um, it's a song that I kind of, I kind of consider deeply just because of like the whole melodic style, very psychedelic and uh, very visual in a way, you know, the stuff I say in the song isn't that complex, but you can kind of understand it. It's just like free, free versing expression, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a special song to me. Uh, the recording process for the song was kind of like a, an odd recording process, but it's recent modern a lot of people record like that it's uh called punching in when you record bar for bar so in the song you can hear me overlapping a vocal so if this is vocal one vocal two comes here while vocal one is still playing so um basically what i say in the beginning is Run into the job, baby you already know i've been falling on it and i swear to god i feel like oh the lines are kind of self-explanatory, but running through a check and being and balling is kind of like sports, you know, just correlating and making two bars seem like they were done at once. It's like uh, something we all relate to, people people relate to the older version of yourself and basically yeah it's just me expressing that and uh i said after that i said i got the chopper on me i feel like tony um i feel like tony montana he's he's always with the chopper you know so yeah uh after that i say i got a hundred rounds if a nigga talking down which is linked with the Tony Montana reference, you know. When when I say I've got the chopper on me, I'm not really talking about a literal gun, you know. I might have a gun, you never know. But <laughs> basically, when I say I've got the chopper on me, it's just, it's just about like the attitude of not accepting defeat or not accepting to be like, you know, belittled, yeah. Money, but you know I just mind. I'm with your bitch and you doing me right. Right. So I'm just connecting everything I said there and I'm trying to shit on rappers basically or shit on, on the niggas bitch I'm fucking if that makes sense. And um, after that I transitioned from that to being romantic with a girl, which is very outrageous but uh i say uh you mean so much to me you mean so much to me uh it's self-explanatory 
we all have people that mean a lot to us and you know yeah i've got i've got some girls that mean a lot to me whoever it is she can guess who i was talking about in the song it's yeah also self-explanatory just talking about being inside a foreign car and trying to speed anywhere you go and i watched a lot of cartoons speed racer was one of the cartoons i really watched the most and i just tried to relate to that um, she gives me head in the vroom 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 also relates to that like the foreign car and speed racer and everything you know i just try to when i'm freestyling i'm basically not really like being conscious and thinking so much about what i'm gonna say next but at the same time it ends up making sense so yeah basically that's 2856 is just a song about a song that that kind of emulates what's going on in my mind when I'm recording, when I'm just thinking, free thinking, you know, I'm not limiting myself. I can go from talking about taking a nigga's bitch to being romantic in the same song to talking about weed and talking about like just whatever I want to talk about. So it's a it's a very all over the place song, but when you listen to it closely, there's actually some substance in it.